Hello, this is Vernon. Today I'm going to take you into a man's brain and show you six specific yet often missed signs men give before they leave a woman so you can identify them and do something about it before it's too late. Hello, this is Vernon. Welcome to another edition of VernonMendez.com. If you'd like to learn how to attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. It is really painful when a woman reaches out to me, very surprised that the guy she was with disappeared, disconnected, and the things on a dime. And my hope is that you recognize the signs as they take place, so if there's something that needs to be said or addressed, that you can address it in time. Kind of like when Godzilla is a little monster before he grows up and starts destroying the city of Tokyo. Address things when they're taking place instead of when they've grown out of proportion and out of control. That's the approach that I want you to take. There's a few things that make a man leave a woman and not even discuss it thoroughly or not give you the heads up that it's taking place. And they have to do with the way what he values and also with his ethics and his morals. But it also has to do with something that has to do with you, which is the emotional bank account that you both have secretly established in each other's hearts. And that means that every action you take, every kiss you give him, every discussion, every argument, every cold shoulder, all the things that take place between you and him are either making a deposit in his bank account or making a withdrawal. The challenging piece for most couples is that the communication isn't clear enough or constant enough so you're flying blind hoping that there's a large number of deposits in his bank account when in reality you might be in the red. So the signs that I'm going to be describing to you today are so that you have that filtering system, that insight without necessarily having to go inside the emotional bank account and look at the number, that you can get the feeling of where things are going and if things aren't going where they need to go, that you can course correct and do something before it's too late. One more concept that I need you to be aware of before we start, and that's that there's always when you connect with someone and there's a honeymoon period and the super passionate period and the, we talk for five hours at night, every night, and you have maybe two hours of sleep period where things level off to a sustainable uh, way of being, right? If you were to continue connecting the exact same way, you wouldn't get anything accomplished and you would be disconnected from all the people that are important in your life and you wouldn't get as much done in your life. So when things level off, it should still feel forward moving. You should still feel the momentum. You should still feel the companionship, the depth, the spark. You should still feel that sense of hunger from both of you. The difference when things aren't just leveling off but they're going downhill is that you start feeling really disconnected. You start feeling like there's something that is, you can't quite put your finger on something, but it's there. And what most women do is they brush her under the table, they talk about it with their girlfriends, but they don't bring it up to the man in question. So they feel disconnected, they feel somewhat in pain, there's a fear of vulnerability in terms of expressing what's changing and what your needs are. So you don't address it, so things get worse. And then when things get worse, you start getting hurt, you start, you start being distant, so it's the beginning of the end. So the first sign that a guy is thinking potentially about leaving you is that he's not emotionally in tune with you and has stopped being curious, has stopped being hungry to understand you, stopped being hungry to get a feel for where your day is, what you're dreaming about, what you're life is like. When he starts taking you for granted and doesn't really inquire about things that are important to you, and even though they may not be milestones in life, there's still relevance in talking about the things that you go through on a given day, that you go through on a given week, that you're maybe worried about, maybe your nightmares, metaphorically speaking, and your hopes and your dreams. When that stops taking place, it's a challenging position because there's going to be a disconnection between both of you that if it's not addressed in time, it's going to start driving you both apart. The second sign that a guy is potentially thinking about leaving you is that he starts being less affectionate with you, less physical, less touchy, less present with you, and more disconnected even during sex. 
So let's think about the passionate times that you've had with him. And let's think about the times where you really felt his presence. You really felt he was there for you. It's there's a combination of really wanting to hear what you have to say and also touching you and looking at you a certain way and holding your hand a certain way and opening your door and doing all sorts of little things that put together make you feel like there's a grounding space of passion and companionship and hunger. When those things start going away and he starts being less affectionate, less courteous, less excited, he lights up less when he sees you, he stops maybe wanting to have those fun conversations with you and, 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 and when you do have them, they feel more disconnected, that's another sign that things are starting to wane down. Any one of these things could be an indication of something else. Maybe he's having pain in his work. Maybe he's worried about his health. Maybe something else that has nothing to do with you is taking place. But the more of the signs that are combined, the more there's a space for him to really disconnect to the point where he's no longer in the relationship at all. The third sign that he might be thinking about leaving you is that he's starting to make important decisions that affect you without you in mind. He consults with other people sometimes perhaps that are not you, but things that are important or he consults with no one. He just lets you know here's what's happening without really any consideration to your well-being, to your likes, dislikes. It's almost like this is what's happening. Not even apologetic about it. Like I, I, I'm sorry that it's happening this way. It's like this is what's happening and you're informed and some of those things draw you apart. Maybe he's traveling more frequently to a certain location for work and not that you would say don't do it, but he never actually discussed it with you. So the fact that he's doing it and he doesn't seem to care about it starts making you aware that there could be something in his mind that's making you and your connection with them and the relationship as a whole less relevant and less of a priority. Now, before I go into my four, five, six, and seven points here, I'd like to invite you, if you're a single woman and you don't understand really why you're still single, I've created a quiz that can tell you in about 60 seconds or so the most important thing you might be missing, the most important blind spot you might be missing as to why you're still single. And this is great because it gives you the ability to address the root cause instead of some superficial level stuff that's not really getting you what you want. So all you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video. You will see the page of the quiz that looks like this. Start the quiz answer the questions and in 60 seconds or so, you'll have not just the number one reason why you're still single, but also the most important step you can take going forward if you wanna course correct and change things around. Now, number four, he is visibly excited about connecting with other people in ways that really draw the contrast as to how excited it is to connect with you. Because it's one thing for the guy to be unexcited about life. Maybe he's going through some low hormones or depression or sadness or grief or something. But when he's not enthusiastic about connecting with you and maybe a friend reaches over and you see him visibly get excited to go out with his friends or outside of the relationship in ways that you really haven't seen about you, that's a really bad sign. And that's a bad sign because there might be things that he has in the back of his mind. Maybe he's heard about something. Maybe something took place in his mind. Maybe he's starting to think it's not compatible for some reason. But when he starts really being overly enthusiastic about things and super unenthusiastic about being with you, that's something to be addressed. Number five, he either starts arguing constantly with you about unimportant shit in life or he stops caring altogether. So, okay, so the first scenario would be that he just, he just, he's almost like finding the excuse to be upset. He's finding a reason to not be happy with you. It seems like he's speaking on your words that instead of being kind, he's being slightly mean in his comments. He's making jokes at your expense. That's one of the possibilities. The other possibility is that he's so disconnected that even when you maybe intentionally or unintentionally test him, He's unresponsive. He doesn't care. He doesn't even have it in him to argue anymore. He's just kind of out, one foot checked out. Really bad sign. Number six, starts including you less in his circles and communicating with less frequency and less intensity with you. So maybe he goes out with friends and he starts like, uh, he plans it, doesn't invite you. He's making more time to connect with people that are not you. He's prioritizing other people, other friendships, slightly above or much more above the relationship and not even asking you to be part of it or doing things that 
you don't really like. So even if he asks you to come, it's like, ah, it's it, it wouldn't be a fun thing for for either of you for you to attend. And when he starts communicating less, it just means that maybe it's less frequent. Maybe he doesn't call you in the morning anymore. Maybe he goes to sleep, and before you had this thing where before going to sleep we talk, and now. He doesn't do that anymore, he, and he's just waiting for you to, to contact him, and when, when, when you do contact him, he takes longer to respond, he's less present, he's less excited about it. Uh, long conversations maybe turn into short conversations, just a bad downward spiral, similar to the other ones. And the last one that I'll share with you right now, is not by, by any means, it's not the last one of all, but it's the last one that I'll share today, is when he starts doing things for you that before he was excited about, as if it were a chore. He starts complaining about little things that he's doing for you, whether those are opening your door, getting you something at the store before he comes to see you. The little things that used to remind you of his acts of service and how cool it is that a guy is genuinely and volunteering his heart and his presence to do things that make you feel great and happy, just like as you do with him but he either stops doing them or when he does them, he kind of lets you know how much of a chore it is. I think one of the key signs that you'll find some men who don't have the capacity to express their emotions, they'll express them in bad jokes. Jokes that end up hurting you, that are not really funny, but let, know, let you know his feelings without necessarily, it's just a joke, it's not really me. Whenever that starts happening, it's time to, to go to the next step. And, and all that I'm sharing with you right now is for the next step which is if you're in a situation like this, if you start to, to feel like some of the signs are already present in your life, or maybe you've gone through this relationship, this thing in the past, and you want to avoid from it from happening in the future, whenever this starts happening, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with him. I think, so. I, I've read <laughs> a few people who recommend just waiting it out and just playing it cool, like, and that's just BS in my mind. If you start feeling like there's this connection, the moment that this connection starts feeling without making him wrong for it, that's the key. Don't tell him that he's wrong for doing something. Just ask and inquire. Say that something feels off and ask him what's going on in him. What is he feeling? If there's something that's missing, if there's something that you have done to hurt him, if there's something that you've done that maybe he hasn't expressed that's feeling off so that you can, in a very calm, connected, present, non-threatening way, get him to open up a little bit about what's really taking place. So if there's something that is in your heart and in your presence to address, you can address it. If not, then, and he, or he doesn't want to talk about it, then you might need to prepare emotionally for someone who's about to take a step out of the relationship. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, and you want to understand at the core why you might still be single, again, go to the first link in the description and take the quiz, the number one reason you're still single that will show you number one, What's that reason number two, what you can do about it starting today? If you like this video, click like or thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Even if you watch my videos all the time and they're in your feed, if you haven't subscribed, they might stop showing in your feed, so just subscribe for that reason alone. And last but not least, if you hear what I'm saying and this feels like a yes to you, and you don't want to spend the next few years trying to figure this stuff on your own, you want hand-holding help, accountability, and support, then second link will allow you to apply to work with me. If we're a great fit, I can help you to get this result that you're seeking in a fraction of the time. Thank you so much for connecting with me today and for allowing me into your heart, into your home, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.